Today I wanna to show you guys a tool that is, I think, going to majorly change the game for small farmers. This is the paper pot transplanter, and my mind is totally blown by this thing. I've had it for about a month now, and I've been doing demos with it, and kind of figuring out the, the quirks with it, the nuances, the adjustments, and all that, and this tool is, major major game changer on our farm it's turning an hour of work into minutes so i'm going to transplant a bed of basil right now i transplant basil at six inch centers so four rows in a bed six inches apart it's the same way i do lettuce and i'm actually going to do some more lettuce after this as well but i just want to show you guys how quick this thing can get a job done that would take an hour so it normally takes an hour for one of our guys to pop out the plugs, transplant at this density in a 50 foot bed. I'm gonna do it with this paper pot transplanter and it's going to be, it's gonna greatly reduce that time. I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take, but I'll show you and you can check it out. This tool uses special flats. They're 11 inches by 22 inches, so they're a little bit bigger than your standard 1020 flat, but they work with a paper chain that is like an accordion style stretched out in the flat and filled up with soil. You use this little plate thing to get the flat started and basically how this works is it unravels itself into the soil. And so you push this thing underneath it and that makes it sort of like a ramp that the paper chains will unravel from. And so you get your first one going. This little piece is just garbage. I use, I keep some landscape pins down here. So you start it off. The first few feet of a bed, you'll have to come back and bury in. That's just because I have lots of stuff right at the end of my beds. But if you had long beds with lots of space at the end, it wouldn't be a problem. This is one of the challenges I have in the urban setting. So once you get her going, start and so it's digging a trench and it's closing it up as you go So that took seven minutes, um, and I'm still not perfect at this. I had to stop a few times and just dig it back in. Like, for example, your be your beginning rows, you know, you just want to bury in a little bit because you're not starting with the the trench is deep. So you just go and plug those in. But if you just do the math, think about this. So I plant about 60 beds of Salanova lettuce a year. That's the exact same as this one and it takes us an hour each bed. So that's popping out the plugs, planting them in and all that. If I can do that in seven minutes, that means, so normally one, one bed an hour, 60 beds is 60 hours. If I make that seven minutes of that same amount of uh, beds, that's seven hours. So I'm saving 53 hours a year, a season, on that one crop. So you might do all kinds of stuff. Um, I, I think for a, a, a normal farm that's doing a variety of transplants, you're gonna save probably 300 hours a year. That's insane. Like if you, if, if, even if that's $10 an hour labor, that's $3,000 that you're gonna save a season. It's huge because that's around the price that this tool costs to get. So <laughs> amortize that over years, I mean, the savings is massive. I know some farms have reduced a whole day a week of work because of this tool. They've eliminated, you know, one out of four jobs to, you know, have more time on their farm or however you want to stack it. It's incredible. I'm going to do some more planting. Okay, you put your flat on the tray. I always kind of push the greens back a little bit here. Stick this in, kind of slice it along the side. Get it in. And then you just kind of wiggle it under, push it, get your first paper chain, which is this guy here.
when I'm doing four rows, I pretty much line up my wheel to the mound of the trench from the last row. All right, so with this thing, you've got this different way of planting and you're using, it's all new gear. So you got different kinds of flats. This is a 11 by 22 inch flat. It's a specialty flat. These are amazing flats actually. They're super, super strong. And I know somebody's gonna ask, hey Curtis, can I use this for microgreens? Absolutely you can. I've been starting to do it. They're amazing. They certainly cost more than your standard 1020 flat and you know how flimsy these are and they, they break like nothing. These flats are like crazy, crazy robust. They probably last you a lifetime. Anyways, that aside, this is what you have to use for the paper chain. So you have this thing called a spreader flame, frame and you get your, your paper chain, they come like this and you have these special arms that will separate the chain for you. So you take these spreader pieces. This all comes with a kit that comes with uh, the spreader frames, these guys, and uh, the drop seeder, and the dibbler, which I'll show you in a minute. So you spread your paper pot over your spreader frame and it kind of hooks it in like that and then now you can slide these out and that stays in place. Now you take your flat and you put your flat over top, flip it over and now you're ready to fill it with soil. I'm using a soil mix just like I always do. A bit wettened down, got a little bit of sifted compost in it, a little bit of fertilizer. This is really no different than filling any flat. So there you got it filled. They give you this brush, and the purpose of this brush is to make a nice flat surface so that you can see the sort of the honeycomb pattern in the flat, which is important when you put the dibbler in, which is will allow you to get your seeds lined up perfectly to the planting. Then you take this tool, it's called the dibbler, and it's the same for every flat, so there's there are a bunch of different sizes of paper pots and they basically represent the distance of space in the ground. The ones I'm planting right now are called 30315. That 15 represents 15 centimeters, which is six inches. And then we've got a 303 and a 10. So the 303 is two inches apart and the 30310 is uh, 10 centimeters, which is four inches apart. But they're all the same in the flat. So you take your dibbler, get a bit more light there, and then that dibbler just makes the holes that you're going to drop your seeds into. Now this is the drop seeder. It works similar to a vacuum seeder, but there's two plates that line up with each other and then when they do, they drop the seed. So I've got some seed down below. This is all Salanova seed. I'm just gonna spread it around. Make sure that one seed falls into each hole. And we have different size drop seeders as well for different size seeds. So I think we've got two different sizes, two or three different sizes we're carrying right now. So you just line it up to those holes. Hit it, give it a couple taps. If there's any seed that gets a little stuck in there. So I cover up with a little bit of vermiculite, 
So once the soil's in there, you can now take the spreader frame out, and then that's a planted flat. So that's the paper pot transplanter in a nutshell. That's all the gear that you need. Uh, we have a kit that we're selling on the website, so it's just sort of a starter pack. It's 3000 bucks. If you're just starting out with it, and you don't know exactly what you need, just get that. We've given enough variety of stuff in there that you can do a, a bunch of different types of transplants with it. That's what I got, that's what I started with, and it's worked fine for me so far. So, paperpot.co, that's Diego Fooder and I's new enterprise. Check it out, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>